coming on such short notice. And Doctor, thank you for hosting this gathering. How did these goblins progress in such a short time from bows and arrows to tanks and guns? Where are they based? And how can we remove the threat they pose? We must immediately mount an expedition to discover whatever we can. Do we have any volunteers? The crags, huh? That's deep in goblin country. I can get you all in. I'm less sure I can get you all out again. Victor. Victor Industries welcomes the opportunity to field test the latest model of our security robots. While human strength is, of course, desirable, the expedition will need something far more powerful to take on those goblin weapons. The high-tech armaments of these robots should prove invaluable in accomplishing the mission. Any other volunteers? Well then, it seems Ryder and Victor will be our expeditionary force. <clears throat> yes, Doctor? Before any final decision is made, I would like to show you all a little something I've been working on. Come! Uncle! Hey, how you been? Good. The doctor keeps me busy, though. Huh? I gotta go set up. I'll see you later. Okay. <sighs> Begin. Just go slow, little buddy. You'll be fine. What you see before you is my ultimate creation. Now. of some unknown civilization that power our machines and make our way of life possible. Decades learning the secrets of the relics and how to bring them to consciousness. The result is Knack, a living, thinking, breathing creature.
those relics. As you can see, Knack is capable of explosive growth. through that duct. Neck can power up by absorbing the energy contained within sunstones. Once energized, he can release the power of the sunstones explosively as a massive shockwave. Neck, use the shockwave to take out those robots' shields. As you can see, the shockwave can destroy multiple targets at once. his already formidable powers. Most impressive, Doctor. You call it Knack, is that right? Actually, I call myself Knack. Impressive? <laughs> he seems a little delicate to me. When we go after the goblins, we'll face challenges far deadlier than those slow-moving buckets of bolts. What exactly are you getting at, Victor? Well, I brought a few of my security robots with me. If Knack can get by those, then I'll grant he has a place in the expedition. Hmm, can do. Let's take this to the garden. There's a bit more room. So, you think Nat can do it? We'll see now, won't we?
Using the power of the Sunstones, Nat can also blast distant targets with a barrage of relics. This blast attack is even capable of striking multiple targets at once. So, Victor, you still think I'm too delicate? 
It seems the doctor will be joining us after all. But you want him to come. And you want him to bring Knack. <laughs> what a wonderful demonstration, Doctor. Yes, Knack must join us in our expedition. I wonder what Charlotte would have thought of Knack if she were still around. Come on, Doc. Let's go. We don't have all day. Hey, Doc. Thanks for looking after my nephew. He's growing up so fast. Frankly, Ryder, it was easier when he was younger. Now he wants to know how and why and debate everything. It's really quite trying at times. <laughs> it sounds like you need a break. Why don't you let me take him for a few days? Oh, he's all yours. <laughs> Lucas! It's just you and me again. Now the tracks from those goblin tanks should still be visible. So keep a sharp lookout. Well, Mac, let the adventure begin. I can't wait. Well, my dear. Wish us luck. Starboard side! I can see the tanks! That's the old crag mine. It's huge in there. Tunnels go on for miles. No telling what the goblins are up to. Let's land and take a closer look on foot. <laughs> <laughs> 